The day after the former American President Barack Obama mocked Donald Trump's crowd size obsession with a hand gesture at the DNC, Trump, of course, is hit back. Now, speaking at the North Carolina event, Trump asked the crowd if he should start getting personal. Delegates at the DNC were laughing and applauding Obama's comments as he compared Trump with an annoying neighbor. Let me ask you about that. We're going to do a free poll. Here are the two questions. Should I get personal? Should I not get personal? Ready? Should I get personal? Should I not get personal? I don't know. My advisors are fired. No, we'd rather keep it on policy, but sometimes it's hard when you're attacked from all ends. I mean, they want to put you in jail for nothing. Now, Trump also lashed out at Michelle Obama. The former American first lady had tore into Trump, criticizing his character and also racist attacks. Did you see Barack Hussein Obama last night? Take little shots. He was taking shots at your president. And so was Michelle. You know, they always say, sir, please stick to policy. Don't get personal. And yet they're getting personal all night long, these people. Do I still have to stick to policy? It's also, in fact, here as to what the Obamas actually said about Trump. The same old con doubling down on ugly, misogynistic, racist lies as a substitute for real ideas and solutions that will actually make people's lives better. Look, because cutting our health care, taking away our freedom to control our bodies, the freedom to become a mother through IVF like I did, those things are not going to improve the health outcomes of our wives, mothers, and daughters. Shutting down the Department of Education, banning our books, none of that will prepare our kids for the future. Demonizing our children for being who they are and loving who they love, look, that doesn't make anybody's life better. Instead, instead, it only makes us small. There's the childish nicknames, the crazy conspiracy theories, this weird obsession with crowd sizes. <laughs> it, 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 it just goes on and on and on. The other day I heard someone compare Trump to the neighbor who keeps running his leaf blower outside your window every minute of every day. <laughs> now, from a neighbor, that's exhausting. From a president, it's just dangerous. Now, that was the moment that the crowd, of course, went crazy and Trump, of course, picked it up. Now, Trump at his rallies often refers to Vice President now rival Kamala Harris as Crazy Kamala and the American President Joe Biden as Crooked Joe or Sleepy Joe. The Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz formally accepted the Democrat vice presidential nomination as several big names, including the likes of Bill Clinton, Nancy Pelosi and Oprah Winfrey, took the stage in Chicago on the third day of the Democrat National Convention. So the day, of course, kicked off with the first of its kind Vedic prayer where the priest sought the blessings for a united United States of America. 
While accepting the vice presidential nomination, Tim Walls cast himself as a fighter for freedom on issues such as reproductive rights and criticised Republican overreach on issues like abortion and IVF care. Now, Tim Walls, a former high school football coach, was greeted with chants of coach at the convention. Former students marched on stage to introduce Tim Walls for the biggest speech of his political career. We're down a field goal, but we're on offense and we've got the ball. We're driving down the field. And boy, do we have the right team. Kamala Harris is tough. Kamala Harris is experienced and Kamala Harris is ready. Now, earlier, the former president, Bill Clinton, in fact, spoke at the convention and laid out the case for Kamala Harris's presidency. Clinton also took multiple shots at the Republican presidential nominee, Donald Trump accusing him of creating chaos. Now, Clinton also joked that Harris would break his McDonald's record at the White House. I'll be so happy when she actually enters the White House as president because she will break my record as the president who spent the most time at McDonald's. The former House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi also addressed the convention. Pelosi started her speech by thanking Joe Biden and praising his presidency. She then went, of course, on an attack on Trump, accusing him of trying to steal democracy on the 6th of January in 2021. We must choose leaders who believe in free and fair elections, who respect the peaceful transfer of power. The choice couldn't be clearer. Those leaders are Vice President Harris and Governor Walls. An Oprah Winfrey made an unscheduled appearance at the Democrat convention, urging the independent voters to support Harris. She said that decency and respect are on the ballot. And she also took a shot at the Republican vice presidential nominee, J.D. Vance's childless cat lady remark. When a house is on fire, we don't ask about the homeowner's race or religion. We don't wonder who their partner is or how they voted. No, we just try to do the best we can to save them. And if the place happens to belong to a childless cat lady, well, we try to get that cat out too. Now, outside the convention, hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters who were demanding for an immediate peace and the cessation of the bombings in the occupied Palestinian territories, including with parents with children atop their shoulders, streamed into the Union Park on the third day of the Democrat National Convention and demanded that Joe Biden must stop sending weapons and money to the state of Israel. Now, these protests, of course, came a day after there were clashes between the police and the protesters the night before that led to 72 arrests of these pro-peace protesters. And the Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump held his first outdoor rally since last month's attempted assassination. He spoke at the North Carolina event from behind a podium surrounded by panes of bulletproof glass. The Trump his... attacked Kamala Harris's approach to national security, claiming that she would actually destroy the country if she becomes the woman in charge. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.